Right. You know, and I, I know that you've mentioned, um, you know, scale how, and how that impacts pricing and selling in bulk and, and things like that. Is that the primary driver for any sort of wiggle room and negotiation when it comes to um, shipping and sort of getting the best prices? Or is there any other levers that a business owner could pull to to kind of uh, be able to turn a savings and shipping around to those customers that are more price conscious? Uh, most of it's going to be volume and commitment mm -hmm. driven accounts. So Got most it. of the price you're going to be able to get uh, direct with a carrier is going to require you to commit to a specific volume, a specific type of uh, pickup uh, requirements or drop off requirements if you're dropping at a uh, location. Um, mm -hmm. It's going to require you to very much standardize and, and, and drive volume to a very specific repeatable process. Got it. Whereas if you go with a, a partner, you know, we are. Um, this is ubiquitous across the carriers, but I'll use USPS numbers to illustrate. If you look at the brands that we have, 30% of e-commerce in 21 went through one of our platforms. Wow. So three out of 10 packages went through an Octane platform. And so mm. as a result, we have very competitive pricing available to us and pricing that we can pass off to our merchants and our merchants can then pass to the consumers. And so that is certainly one of the ways that people can circumvent all the requirements necessary on the carrier side to be able to 